What's up gamers? So this video is just going to talk about some of the news on Minecraft 3. I've never really made a video that confirmed it yet. We only really had two teasers, one at the end of Mindz and one at the end of our 500 subscriber special. So in case nobody saw those teasers, here's a video of the last two teasers. Something strange happened. After I woke up from the creeper blast, things seemed different. And as I walked outside my lab, I realized that things changed. Everything was normal again. It's almost as if something defeated the wither and reset everything back how it used to be. Nobody but me has memory of the fuse. Everything was peaceful again. And all of the creepers were no longer charged. Even the nether was free of those weird skeletons. The villagers were safe. But then suddenly, the sky changed color. And I thought for sure the fuse was back again. So I prepared myself and warned the village. We got armor and weapons, and when the time came, no lightning strike. This time it snowed. A lot. In the middle of summer. It doesn't make any sense. But this snow was colder, and it felt empty. It became too cold to survive, and the weather was affecting the Endermen. They became stronger and started to glow. I just have a strange feeling that whatever is going to happen next will be much, much harder than the views. Okay, journal number four, page two. We can't take it any longer. The cold has gotten worse and worse, and our villagers are getting sick. Our crops have died, and we have nothing to eat. The brave hunters that have been going out to get us food have been coming back with frostbite. Not only that, the monsters seem to become stronger. They were enchanted by the coldness somehow, and I don't think this village can survive another week. However, I have a solution. I know how we can survive. The nether. The nether is the hottest place in the world. It is dangerous, but we don't have another choice. We must hide in the nether. That's weird. The portal is supposed to be purple, not blue. Oh well. I need to get into the nether. My body is so numb. This is bad. The nether is somehow even colder than the overworld. Okay, well I'm not excited for recording Minecraft 3 now. Isn't that right, dog? Ready for Minecraft 3? Not if you're ready for Minecraft 3. Oh! He's ready. Let's do this. Alright, so I know most people who make hardcores wait till it's all recorded before they make the teasers and stuff, but... Uh, okay, well, we haven't even decided the cast yet. And I know, I know, that's probably a bad thing to do, but why do you think I said 2020? Because 2020 could mean literally, like, next year, so... But the real reason why we don't have the cast decided yet is because we're not going to pick the cast this season. You are. That's right. We're not a dictatorship here. We let the fans vote. Alright, so for this season, you guys are going to vote for who you want into the hardcore. We came up with a list of 15 different people that we're okay with having in the hardcore, and the top voted will be put into the hardcore. Now, some of them are, have been in previous Cake Team hardcores, or others have been in Cake Team videos, but here's everybody that you can vote for. Okay, so first we got Azraq. He's a pretty epic gamer. He's in a lot of Cake Team casual videos. Now we got Ben. He's been in Cake Team Mind Z2, and he's my brother. And then, uh, you know that one annoying character in Smash, but now he's blue? Yeah, we have Blue Kirby. You can vote for him. He's pretty epic. We got Siv. He bought Super and I Don't Starve together, so that was pretty epic. And Cesar. Well, is it, is it Sar or Cesar? You know what? It doesn't matter. But he's pretty active in the Cake Team server. He's pretty chill, so we put him here. We got Hunter. He's a close friend of ours. He's pretty epic. And then we got Indigo Oranger. He bought me Rivals of Ether once, so... Uh, play it soon, don't worry. And then there's Lonk, I uh, killed him in Minecraft too, y'all know Lonk. I just say y'all? Oops, uh, cut that out. Alright, so we got Moose, he's a fellow Canadian, he's in a lot of Cake Team videos, so you guys should probably vote for him, because he's pretty cool. 
All right, now we got Noah. He's uh, my cousin, so you guys probably don't know who he is, but you know, he's pretty epic, so uh, vote for him. And we got Overhill. He was in Minecraft too, and maybe he'll win this season if he's in. Well, maybe. Has he ever won a season yet? I don't know. Whatever. And then we got Poke. He's pretty epic dabber. I'd say vote for him if you want. And then we got Smash. He's pretty cool. He's been in MindZ, and uh, he's, uh, he's Australian, so that's pretty epic, which means he's upside down right now. Alright, so here's Soviet. He made the portraits for Mindsy, and he's going to make the portraits this season, so he's pretty epic. And then we got Yorkie. She's not really in the hardcore community, but she's a close friend of ours, and she's in a few of our videos. Alright, so if you want to vote for anyone, just click on that link below and select as many people as you want. In about a week or so, we'll shut down the voting and add the winners into the hardcore. Alright, so one more thing before I go. The twist is not finished yet, and it's still being worked on. And every once in a while, I need to test it out on the server with a few friends, see if everything's working together, see if there's no bugs, or if it's not broken or anything so for the next few weeks the server is going to be down every once in a while while we're playing on it so for the people who play in the server if they try and join and it says you're whitelisted that most likely means that we're just play testing the hardcore so please bear with us and just wait alright so that's everything I gotta say see you gamers later bye subscribe and uh, do all the other things youtubers say at the end of their videos